Okay, moving a little further back on the combine, we're gonna talk about some of the, the battery box area. Pretty straightforward, gives you a nice big toolbox. Located inside the box though, we have an electric switch for the cage vanes. Uh, if you need to clean them out, you need to move them from externally on the combine, we have a switch located right here. Again, also adjustable from in the cab, and when automation is running, it's gonna be adjusting those cage vanes as well. A little bit of a fuse panel located in here, and again, like I said, nice big toolbox. You have a couple of light switches, so your side panel lights and your sieve area lights, battery disconnect, chopper speed adjustment. So we have a high and low speed. So with a mechanical shifting chopper, like this one is, we squeeze the plates together, and we can slide the coupler back and forth. Change the speed from high to low or low to high. Last thing I want to talk about, located up in here, we have our chopper belt tension. So two indicators, again, spring length to the end of the indicator. Doesn't need to be any tighter than that. We don't want to over tighten the belts because it will put deflection on the shaft and the chopper. The other important thing to mention is if you do have a new combine, those belts will stretch quite a bit in the first 20 minutes of operation. So after 20 minutes, you're gonna to wanna to get out, you'll tension these belts, and then again in another hour after that. Get out, check them, make sure they're still tight, and after that they should stay tight and you can service them via the recommended interval. So the last thing we're gonna talk about on the left side of the combine over here is the importance of proper rear axle height setting. So a couple factors that we take into consideration, rear tire size, and how we measure it is by putting an angle gauge on the frame rail of the combine. So we don't want to see any more than four degrees, right? So basically we don't want the rear of the combine lifted any more than four degrees than the front of the combine, which is a fairly flat plane, to be honest with you. In our travels, we've gone out and we've seen, and we've had questions from customers that have lifted the rear axles on their combines all the way to the top, expecting that they're going to save more grain in the combine. That is not true. This combine was designed to run at four degrees. Don't set it any higher than that.